when you're around winners, it stimulates yours more so than anyone else. This is one of the greatest kept money-making secrets of all time. This is, is the Kevin Trudeau Show. I am exposing the corruption in government and in major multinational corporations. We're telling you the things that they don't want you to know that will make your life better. So there's three things you can do that increase the size of the hippocampus and get you broadcasting more on theta, gamma, or alpha. Dramatically reducing beta which means you're going to manifest goals and dreams and desires quicker and faster. Number one, throughout history, wealthy people always went for a walk in nature or they went horseback riding in nature. In nature, we have nature sounds, the sound of a brook, a creek, or a river, or running water. We have the sounds of crickets. We have the sounds of frogs. We have the sounds of monkeys, depending on where you are in the world. There are sounds, nature sounds. The most powerful nature sounds are the ones that are repeated, such as the sounds of crickets or cicadas or frogs or birds. These sounds stimulate, because they're being broadcast on a particular frequency with a particular beat, they stimulate the size of the hippocampus. They also stimulate the pineal gland. Next, when you're in nature, especially if you're in a forest, as wind goes through the forest and the trees, negative ions, negative ions are produced, and these negative ions stimulate the hippocampus, increasing the size and also the pineal gland. If you buy running water, that does it as well. If you buy salt water, like a beach, that does it as well. So that's what people have always done. Always, 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 because they understand the importance, and many people have done this, very wealthy people, subconsciously, just intuitively. They knew that they didn't know the science behind it, but that's the science. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing is reading. Throughout history, the wealthy and the people in control always wanted to make sure that the peasants stayed illiterate. We don't want them to be able to read for two reasons. If they read, they'll, they'll gain knowledge. But secondly, the act of reading stimulates the hippocampus, primarily, a little bit of the pineal gland, but mostly the hippocampus, increasing your ability to broadcast on theta and then manifest goals, dreams, and desires. It's irrelevant what you're reading. You can read a novel. It's not like a how-to book. Yeah, you can read the books on my recommended reading list, and that will give you a double bang for the buck. You're actually reading data and information that's helpful, and you're reading. The act of reading stimulates that part of the brain. But reading stories, autobiographies, is also very powerful, and actually more so in some respect, because it's getting you to create images in your mind. So when you read a novel, or if you read a biography or autobiography, you're reading a story and therefore creating images in your mind. You're you're using your imagination, you're using your ability to create pictures. This stimulates the hippocampus increasing the size. This is what wealthy people have done throughout history. They have read. Leaders are always readers. Losers are not readers. Fact. Okay, that's number two. Number three, of all the things, and there's probably close to maybe 50 different things you can do that will stimulate, without spending any money, by the way, that will stimulate the hippocampus to increase in size as well as the pineal gland and activate them. There's about 50 things. The most powerful, the number one most powerful that you can do is associate with winners. You, If you are in the same physical room and you are associating with and have a relationship with someone who does have a large hippocampus and an active pineal gland. When you're in that proximity, they're broadcasting so strongly, it hits yours and will increase your size faster. This is why throughout history, going to a spiritual guru created such magical results. Because when you got into the physical presence of a guru, that person's pineal gland is fully active, connected to universe, connected to source. And when you come in their presence, it stimulates yours. 
stronger than anything else you can do. And the hippocampus is so strong, they're broadcasting on theta that those theta waves are smashing into yours, matching yours, and it's increasing the size of your hippocampus. Let me give you the example of this. If you take a, uh, a broadcast and then there's another uh, broadcast uh, antenna and you put them next to each other, they stimulate each other because they're on the same frequency and you don't have a, twice the power. You have three, four, five times the power. There's a, a place in, in, called HARP where they have all of these broadcast antennas. We'll, I mean, we'll show, show a clip of this. And because they're all next to each other, when they broadcast, it dramatically increases geometrically the power of each one. It's not one plus one equals two, it's one plus one equals five. And one plus one plus one doesn't equal three. One plus one plus one equals 25. So when you're in a room with like-minded people, when you're around people that have an active pineal gland and an active hippocampus, rich people, successful people, happy people, spiritually enlightened people, motivated people, positive people, like-minded people, people that are reading the books, people that are going after goals, dreams, and desires, people that are engaged. When you're around winners, it stimulates yours more so than anyone else. This is one of the greatest kept money-making secrets of all time, associating with winners and you will become one. Aristotle Onassis, one of the richest men in the world, said if he was flat broke and had no money, he would save everything he had and once a month go to a nice restaurant or go someplace where there were rich, wealthy, successful people, and he would just try to get as physically close to them as possible not just to hear what they had to say and maybe learn something, but being in their presence would affect him. He knew that. Every successful person knows that. Being in the presence of winners creates winners. Success breeds success. That's why the Club the Global Information Network is so strong and powerful, because when you join that membership, and even if you're on a, a, a local chapter meeting via Zoom, because you can't physically get around people. Because of technology, we're connecting and creating increases in hippocampus size and activity in pineal gland, helping you manifest goals, dreams, and desires. Hi, I'm Kevin Trudeau. This is everything they don't want you to know about to improve the quality of your life. Broadcasting every Monday and Wednesday, two days a week now, Monday and Wednesday at one o'clock Chicago time. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to the channel and share these shows with everyone you know.